It's urgent that architects begin to look at a broad range of scales of citizenship and the built environment. We look at it from the very smallest point of existence to the very largest and back again. The act of citizenship is not just an abstraction, but actually it is quite an embodied experience and we see that through the kinds of materiality, whether that's cord or stone or the immersion in a digital projection. The connection to free space, we see sort of two ways. One, as this kind of democratic public space, and some of the works represent new forms of public monument. But we can also look at it as like the territory of the U.S.-Mexico border, which could be a place of commonality rather than a place of segregation, which the borderline of the wall might suggest. It's not until we make visible questions of the built environment that we make visible new ideas of public space or new ecologies or new platforms for exchange that we can actually move the profession beyond sort of an internal discourse through the architectural tools that we have.